Now in this first demo, as we look at Windows 7, uh, the release candidate of this operating system, you should take that into account. Uh, we're going to start with the changes to the taskbar. Now for simplicity purposes, I've put my taskbar up at the top. I think it's just a little bit easier to, uh, to see in the demos that way. And the first thing you'll notice in the taskbar is that it actually looks almost like the quick launch menu did. Okay, well, let's start by clicking on our, our start button there, or what used to be the start button, and just opening up a, a Word document. Okay, and we'll quickly uh, open up that Word document. And what you will see, I'll just go ahead and minimize it, what you'll see is that it's represented by a single uh, icon there on the taskbar. Okay. Now these icons do have a, a special purpose. I can hover over uh, that icon and I can see uh, the window, the, the Word document that I currently have open. If I move my mouse down onto that, it quickly flips there. Okay. Now I have to actually click on it to stay there. If I want to investigate what's in some of my other windows, for instance Outlook, I hover over Outlook, I want to check my email, okay, no, I, I, I don't have anything. Go over here to Internet Explorer. It produces the pages uh, that I have. Now here is the really cool part. As I go from one page to another, it flips those. Regardless of whether this is separate tabs, separate windows, it flips back and forth between them very, very quickly. I want to select one, I just go ahead and click, uh, click on that. And we can see that most of those were tabs, but one of them actually, uh, the, the Woot website here, was a separate window. Okay, now you can act on any of those if you'd like to. Just you can click the X and that'll close those down. Uh, again, just a very quick ability to jump between different areas, uh, between different documents, you know, those, those kinds of things. Okay, we also have the ability to pin programs to the start menu. So let's minimize uh, these things again. Actually, we'll take advantage of our new called Arrow Peak. Now you can't really difficult to see it's right beside the clock in the system tray and if you just click on it then it'll show your desktop but if, as you saw if I just hover over without clicking it actually takes me to my desktop now let's say I want the word program always pinned well that's easy enough just right click on word and we would say we want to pin this program to the taskbar okay we've also just given away one of the other things about this taskbar when I right click items, notice what happens. Hey, here are some pinned items. Here are my most recent items. Uh, and the, you have the quick ability to pin an item to the button that's in the taskbar. So my most frequently accessed Word documents are at work, my most frequently accessed spreadsheets, those kinds of things. I can make it real easy to just right click the Word document that's always there and click and open up uh, that document. Okay, now when I hover over Word, I'll see that I actually have two documents opened up. I can cycle between them, click uh, click X to, to go away. And of course, just like in Vista, that works with videos, that works with pictures, the live thumbnails work really well. I do want to add here, in Windows Vista, to do a lot of what I was just doing, it took an immense amount of resources. Uh, in Windows 7, I'm running a, let me back up. In Windows Vista, on my laptop that only has two gigabytes of RAM <laughs> only, uh, I would never turn on all of these features because, yeah, they were somewhat useful, but it just it just went way too slow. Uh, I have yet really uh, to see any slowdown in the Windows 7 release candidate, and believe me, I'm not getting paid by Microsoft to say that. Uh, I'm very happy to see that level of uh, level of performance go over to my Internet Explorer icon. Now, we've already shown that we can bounce between web pages very quickly, but again, as with everything, we can right click on Internet Explorer, we can see pinned items, uh, we can see my frequent items, I can add something uh, very quickly. For instance, here I'm a big baseball fan, I'm going to throw up MLB.com scoreboard. I want it so anytime I want, I can right click Internet Explorer, I can select that and it'll go ahead and take me very quickly to uh, MajorLeagueBaseball.com and, and the, the current scoreboard. Okay, so just your ability to uh, just add things at, almost at will here, uh, things that I would like to look at and be able to pin those, 
uh, to the start menu is, is really, really very slick, okay? Now, also, if you wanna move these around, go ahead and do so. Just left click and drag, and you can see I can slide those in whatever order uh, I would like. For instance, over here, far left, I've got a remote desktop. I've got some things pinned there, some locations that I might wanna go to. Here's my Windows Explorer icon. Right click there, you got all kinds of different locations that you can uh, add. Same thing with every taskbar icon, the ability to control exactly what's there. So for instance, me frequently going into an audio directory, I pinned that. That takes me in to this audio uh, directory. On my iTunes icon, I've right clicked and I've got some things that I have recently accessed. Sure, if I want to go ahead and pin one of those, uh, then, I'll, then I'll go ahead and do so. Okay, so very, very easy to work with this new taskbar. Really has been enhanced to, to greatly increase efficiency. This is way beyond just thumbnails. Uh, this is uh, really taking and leveraging what we had and making it much, much better. And we'll bounce right into the start menu here because I just want to briefly hit this. You know, we go into like Windows Media Player here. We've got some things, uh, again, these are frequent, uh, frequently accessed. Okay, and you're gonna have this with every single program. So uh, the programs have been, uh, have been changed as well. Uh, for instance, here on, on VMware, uh, grab that. Uh, to open it up, to open up, open up the uh, the VMware workstation. Okay, when you have frequently accessed something, if it is pin or if it is pinned to the start menu, you'll get those same kinds of, of menus here. Uh, and of course, as you can see with Windows Media Player, I have the ability to just quickly and easily uh, pin something uh, to that menu. Now, me personally, I've stopped using the start menu because of this ability to pin items uh, up here. Okay, for instance, VMware Workstation, same thing. I, I went ahead and pinned it to the taskbar. If I want to open up one of these virtual machines, I'll just, I'll just go ahead and do it. So uh, a lot of new enhancements to the taskbar that make it much easier uh, to work with. Okay, so now that's just our first demo. That's just the first thing. Uh, the system tray and, and the desktop and window navigation has been changed a lot too. Uh, and so I, I invite you to take a look at our next demo where I'll be uh, analyzing this area uh, over here, system tray and, and notifications. Mm -hmm.